All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVayne. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Natal, Brazil, Juscelia for me. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, do back to your kick but just misses big body kick lands nice connection with a punch there it's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp he's never looked this good good jab look at him whip his hip into that kick Might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lee. Ooh, head kick. 
Kid Lance was hurt. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Formiga gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chest, too. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. A oh, little single collar tie there. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. You can't take many of those, you better check. Like that one was blocked. Big leg kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Head kick land. Nice leg kick there by Formiga. And he landed the right hand there. Formiga's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, big punch land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach, and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice leg kick lands. Slips. Plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Find that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He room. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. That strike blocked by Formiga. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice head kick. Just missed with the left kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Big kick. Oh. 
is looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of you those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch, Lynn. Able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by an ever-improving Juicy A for me. What a body kick. Formiga's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just missed with the left there. One to the top. Back and forth we go. Ooh, blocks the shot. That uppercut is good. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, a nice slip, and then the counter finds its home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet, as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Big kick land. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round. And really, over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Formiga. Nice loop and punch. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's over. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Ten seconds to go. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it, he landed that kick, and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Big kick land. Powerful leg kick land. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Another shot lands upstairs. Head kick is blocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice straight punch. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Formiga's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at him drive his shit into his own body with that body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Good shit. There's no kills on that leg kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. One out as he blocks the kick. That's a big strike right there. Trying to establish that jab once again. trying to shut the liver down. Not there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! Oh! The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive upper range. Oh, straight right! Straight punch land. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice punch there by Formiga. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds. Well, 
I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Visibly limping here. Formiga gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Formiga's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Pretty good right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Just missing on the high kick there. Beautiful leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Beautiful body kick. Whoa! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to push for a pair of backs. Oh, he might be out. Massive knee to the body land. Good punch. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Formiga. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. How about that shin? Just over two minutes now to go. see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Right hand upstairs. Watch knees to the body. Nice kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice leg kick. Right on the elbow, the body kick land. One minute. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! 
seconds to go. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 47 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.